purpose of this video is going to be for demonstrating the change element attributes tool. And if I bring this tool up here, you're going to be able to see on the tool settings window, you have the standard options to change the attribute of an element, things like level, color, style, and weight. But there's another option down here. It's called make copy. Now, if this is checked, when you select an element, it doesn't change the original element. It, it makes a copy of that element and changes the copy. Now, this isn't something you probably want to do in your active file, but if you have a reference file, this can be particularly helpful. When you're attaching reference files, often we copy elements from the reference file into our active file. And in that process, this tool is going to allow us to not only copy it, but it's also going to allow us to change the attributes at the same time. Now, the elements that you see in the file here, if I hover over, do an alt right click, this brings up quick info. The level is my concrete level, a level I created. The color for this element is by element. It's color zero, line style is zero, weight is two. This is not the by level attributes. The green line, if I alt right click on that, same level, my concrete level, but the color, the style, and the weight are both being defined by level. That's the properties. Now, I'm going to open up a different file that I have this one. I'm going to be referencing it in. We'll close our level manager. I'm going to go to reference file dialog box. I'm going to go to attach level. And the file that I'm going to be attaching was right here, the one I just had open. And it appears. And you can see as I hover over it, this is attached as a reference file. Both of these elements are. And again, if I Alt right click. You can see it's grayed out because it's referenced. There's the level, color, style, and weight. Same thing for the other element. Alt right click. There's my quick info. You can see the attributes there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my element selection tool, which I'm already in. I'm going to select these elements and then I'm going to go to my change element attributes tool. Now I have checked use active attributes. It technically doesn't have to be checked. I just have it checked now. I'm going to be copying these elements and I'm going to be changing their level to 60, their color to three, just so we can see a difference, and their style to zero and their weight to seven. Now I've checked the make copy option down here. When I do a data, those elements will be copied from the reference file into my active and the attributes were changed. When a data, you can see some change there. I'm going to unselect the elements. I'm going to turn off my reference file you now see the new elements that I copied from the reference file. They're now live. And if I do an alt right click on this first one, you can see the level is not my concrete level and the color, style, and weight have all changed. The same thing for the other element. You notice the color, style, and weight are all by element, not by level. Hopefully this will be helpful for somebody out there.